everyone is aware about. It is a situation that has been going on with Cora and her home. Um, for those who do not know Cora, she's an African um, African lady who was married to um, uh, 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 a white guy, I would say. I don't really know his background. And then, unfortunately, they're having issues in their relationship, in their marriage, and they have two beautiful children. And what I have been seeing is that a lot of persons have been, you know, throwing ill words, making ill comments, putting ill uh, 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 comments in her videos. And it breaks my heart that we do these things to ourselves. And it is even more so worse because it is women that do these things more to women. I'm not saying all women. And then I ask myself, where is the love? The Lord did not say that we should only love people who did not get a divorce. The, the, the Lord has not commanded us to only love people who are able to stay in their marriage. We do not know what exactly has happened. Can you just extend love? Can you just show love? Can you just say, I don't know what it is you are going through, but I am here and I am praying for you. Do not castigate. It is not your place to judge. I have been in such a situation in my own life where people who have never met me, People who don't even know me from Adam, they just see me on here. And they come and say all manner of ill words. And guess what? You know what hurts me the most in those times when I hear those things or when I listen to those things or when I watch those things. You know what hurts me the most? I just tell myself, but this person doesn't even know me. That's what breaks me the most. Not even the insult or anything. I'm like, but you don't even know me. You don't even know how I act. You don't know why I acted the way I acted. You don't even know the crux of the matter. You don't know the origin of the situation. I am a human being and I am God's business. The person around you, Cora, is a woman just like you and she is God's business. You cannot make it an ill comment on social media today and tomorrow you are asking God for a breakthrough. You have just pierced the heart of one of God's people. You have just stabbed somebody that matters so much to God in the back. The Bible did not say only love those who have a perfect marriage. The Bible did not say only love those who, can, who have a perfect husband. The Bible did not say only love those who are perfect wives. The Bible says the least amongst you, the least, even though she is divorced, even though she made mistakes, even though she doesn't wear clothes, even though she is always nude, can you correct her in love? And I'm using her as an example to other people that are around you. Some of you, you have people in your family. Fine, she was married before and she became a single mother. Because your marriage is perfect, glory be to God, you no longer talk to that member of your family. Eh, we're not in the same class. She could not stay in the marriage. Uh, well, no, do you know what actually went down? Do you know that this could be a hindrance to your prayer? There are some things that you're praying for and because of the way you treat people, you're not getting answers to them. Because of the way you judge people, you're not getting answers to your prayers. Do you know that the way you treat people matters to God? Do you know that the things that you say to people matters to God? We all make mistakes. We have all made mistakes. We have all acted out of anger. We have all done things that we are not proud to come out here and say. But do you know what led up to that point? I have been in that situation and I know how it feels. I have been in that situation and I know what it is like. And even Cora said, she's not going to say anything right now. She's just going to be calm. And at the right time, she would say something. Do you think she cannot come out and say lies just to counter whatever it is the other person has said about her? Do you think she cannot come out and begin to talk and talk and talk and say all manner of things just to make herself look good? Do you think she does not have the ability to come and lie to you all? Do you think that people who are going through situations and they choose to be quiet or they choose to be honest, do you think they cannot come and lie to you? Do you think they cannot do that? But for the love of God and for the love of the other person, especially in marriage, because of what they once shared, whether it is good, whether it is bad, she has chosen to keep it. She doesn't care whether you see her as the monster. She doesn't care whether you see her as the bad person. She has said, because of what we shared, I will not say it now. 
My goal, my aim is not to scatter your image. My aim is not to rubbish you. My aim is not to make people see you as a demon. My aim is not to make people hate you. My aim is for us to have peace. And if we cannot have peace together, then it's okay. Let's go our separate ways. At the right time, I will tell my story. And there are so many people like this. Ladies, let us be slow in passing out judgment. I am not saying she's perfect. I am not saying she has not done anything bad. Of course, it takes two, like she always says. It takes two people to make something work or for something to spoil. It takes two. I'm not saying she's perfect. But can we just take it easy with the way we judge people? Can we take it easy with the way we pass judgment, with the way we throw stones at people? I remember the story about uh, the adulteress. I remember her story and she was going to be stoned to death. Everybody had gathered to stone her to death. And then Jesus was there and he said, he who is without sin should cast the first stone. That person that doesn't have sin should be the one to cast the first stone. And then everybody left. They dropped their stones and they left. Why? Because they know that Jesus knows their darkest secrets. Jesus knows the things they do behind closed doors. Jesus knows the things that they did yesterday. Jesus knows that those who are about to stone a woman for committing adultery, they have even done worse than adultery. Because they know that he knows. They know that he knows the intent of their hearts. None of them could cast a stone. So why are we quick? To cast stones at our neighbors. Why are we so quick to judge? If you must do anything, if you must say anything, encourage the both of them. Whoever is going through any situation, whoever is going through any hard time, whether they are innocent, whether they are wrong, whether they are guilty, the best that you can do, what God expects of you is to love both of them. What God expects of you is to love the both of them, not to castigate, not to judge, not to pass out judgment. That is not what God wants of you. God's business, the Lord says, for as much as you do to the least of my brothers, as much as you did it to the least amongst you, you did it to me. Some of you are asking, oh Lord, I love you so much. Thank you for all you are doing in my life. How can I repay you? Can I tell you how to repay God? Start with the people around you. Start with your neighbors. Start with that person who is not up to your level. Start with that person who is not up to your standard. Start from there. Start with that prostitute. Start with that guy who is always smoking and drinking. Hello, brother. I, I, I know God loves you. And he doesn't want you to, to, to perish. The Lord wants to save you. Have you thought about giving your life to Christ? Do you know God loves you and your life can be different? Do not be the one to be passing out judgment. I know that this message that is coming today is going to liberate a lot of persons. For a lot of your prayers to be answered, the Lord looks at the way you treat people. For you to get that promotion that you're seeking, the Lord looks at the way you treat people. Because he, he knows that if he promotes you in your level, the level that you are right now is not even as high as you are asking. If he promotes you to become the manager, if he promotes you to become CEO, if he promotes you to a higher level, meaning nobody will be able to talk to you. Nobody will be able to approach you. For as much as you did to the least amongst you, the least, the Bible didn't say the highest, the least amongst you, as long as it is not causing you harm, as long as your life is not in danger, as long as it is not causing you to sin against God, let us love everybody the way we love ourselves. The Lord has commanded us to love our neighbor as we love ourselves. Can I tell you that if you practice a lifestyle of loving people, when you practice a lifestyle of honoring God's people, because everyone, whether you like it or not, is God's business. Whether they are living in sin right now, whether they are the chiefest of sinners right now, God loves them. And how do you think God feels when he sees you 
being mean to one of his people, to one of his children, you break the heart of God. You cannot treat people like trash and expect your heart desires to be granted. You cannot treat people like trash and go before God and be humble. No. It says for as much as you do to that your neighbor, for as much as you did to that person in prison, I love the Bible so much because it is so complete. It is so complete. When the Bible says, when I was in prison, you visited me. That is to show you that I don't need to be innocent. That person doesn't need to be innocent for you to love them, for you to show them the love of Christ. No, they don't need to be innocent. They don't. Because you have also made mistakes. You have also made mistakes. So there are people in your family, whether it is your mother, whether it is your father, they made mistakes while they were raising you. They made mistakes, they separated from your father and that caused your life to be harder. They made mistakes. I don't know how they made mistakes. Can you start treating people right? Can you just start treating people right? If you have a domestic staff, it is not enough for you to treat them like slaves because you are paying them. If you have a domestic staff, they are human beings and they matter to God. You should do all that is within your capacity to love them. You should do all that is within your capacity to show them the same amount of love that you will show to yourself. The Bible says that as much as it lieth within you, do your best to be at peace with all men. Do your best to be at peace with all men. Let us take it easy. It breaks my heart when I see, you know, women bringing each other down. It breaks my heart when I see men bringing each other down. It breaks my heart when I see even young children, young children using their words, using their mouth to bring their fellow humans down right from such a tender age and who are they learning it from they are learning it from their parents this is an appeal if you want the, the the windows of heaven to be open unto you if you want doors to be open unto you this is the major secret the way you treat people i'm not talking about show off oh you are treating people good just so you can show it off you are being nice to people just so you can show it off you are giving out gifts just so you can show it off. The God who rewards will reward you in the open for every good thing you have done behind closed doors. It is not about people. It is not about people. There is a different kind of benefit that comes from honoring people. Because whatever it is that you do to a person, you're doing it to God. If we can just have the lifestyle of honoring those around us. If we can just have a lifestyle, just begin to live a life that honors your neighbor, even those that are not up to your standard. When I was hungry, you gave me food. Are you the type that when you are at home and you are having visitors and you know people are coming, you go and hide the food inside the microwave or hide it in the cupboard or hide it in the bed? When I was thirsty, you gave me water to drink. This includes people who have hurt you in the past. This includes people who have done nothing good to you in the past this includes people who cannot pay you back do you know that you get the greatest blessing by being a blessing to somebody who cannot repay you do you know that when you're doing good for a person who cannot pay you back there is a very great reward but when you're doing 